we're looking at a circle here in this graph. And what they're telling us is that you have a center. Right? You have a center at 5, 3. They come out and say that. What they don't come out and say is what the radius of this circle is. And you can probably estimate it pretty well, but maybe not quite. And to be clear about it, they're saying this. See this distance right here? They're saying, hey, we've got this line y equals 9 right here. And that is tangent to the circle. In other words, this point right here, the line just hits the circle. So that means it's got a y value of 9. And if you look, see how that lines up right here? It's in the middle of the circle. That means this point is at 5, 9. So it's a quiet way of telling you what the radius is. Because if you know the y value here, and if you know the y value up here, you take the difference of those, and that is the radius of the circle. That's going to be r equals 6. OK, so now we know the radius of the circle. We know the center of the circle. The question is, which equation represents the circle? And you may have forgotten how equations uh, of circles work because, well, we don't, we don't do a whole lot with them. I mean, they're not functions. So most of the time we're playing with polynomials or rationals or whatever. But the way circles work is you have this equation that looks like this. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And h comma k is the center. So let's just put our center into this equation and see what we get. We get x minus the x-coordinate of the center, that's 5, plus y minus the y-coordinate of the center, that's 3, and that equals r squared. Careful, this is not 6, right? This is r squared, that's 6 squared, or 36. So look down this list, you see we've got uh, one option right here. And all the other options are distractors of very typical kinds, either... Pff, Look, I picked the wrong one. I picked the distractor. Okay, 6 squared is not 6. It is 36. So this guy right here. Take a look at the distractors. I think it's a useful exercise. Either they've got r in there, not r squared. Okay, that's one type of distractor. Or they've mixed up the x and y coordinates, right? x is not 3 and y is not 5. It's the other way around. 5 and 3, not 3 and 5. So... Keep an eye on these things. You see one of the other styles of distractor is changing the minuses to pluses. Uh, I would say it's useful to memorize this equation right here. Okay, the equation of a circle. You'll see that often.